Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is probably one of the last videos of my series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning because I feel like the series is almost done. This is a beginner series, so I'm teaching everything up to a point where I think you guys can go on your own and just start building projects in order to start practicing your skills. So that's why in this video I'm going to be building a project. Basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a, a cryptocurrency live real-time data like it's going to display real-time data of the prices of cryptocurrencies i'm using a cryptocurrency api called CoinLore. it's really simple it doesn't even need uh, an api key and that's why i chose it you can see that it returns like if i want to see the information of a of 100 cryptocurrencies i can just search this and it will show so it's really interesting i'm gonna try to make it as like appealing visually as possible however i don't really want to waste time trying to make this responsive and look the best because that's not the point but i'm still going to try to add some css so first thing first you can see i have a an empty project i'm going to let me see create a header and it's going to say crypto crypto land that's the name of our website okay you can see it's over here i'm going to put it in the middle let me let me grab this and wait and text actually let me not let me not add text to line in the middle i'm going to just create a div div that's going to be the header so i can like align this in the middle and let me call this header let me come here and just make the width equal to 100 pick 100 percent and I'll come here and make it text align center. Let's see how it looks. You can see that now the title is in the center and everything looks, looks fine, right? So let me, this looks cool. Let me see if, if I add a background color. I don't know if I'm actually want to. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna look good. Okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we're going to have at least for the main page and yes, we're using routes on this project. For the main page, I'm gonna have like some three or like three uh, buttons displaying like the cryptocurrencies and there's going to be like a, a button asking you to just like see all cryptocurrencies but basically you can click on them and whichever one you want to see, you want to see it will bring you to another page of that specific cryptocurrency or coin and it's going to show you more information about them maybe i'm thinking of doing like a table and trying to display the data that way but I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it. Maybe it's just, I'm just gonna make like one column in the middle, I don't know. Yeah, probably I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna come here and let's just make that layout. So let me call this um, uh, crypto list. And inside of here, we're gonna have all the cryptocurrency. So let me make this a div and let me just copy and paste this sometime so we can see how it's going to look okay so let's come here and call crypto list and uh, let's give it let, let's make it a flex box so flex box and hide probably auto but probably we need to make this, we need to put this in the middle. But actually, wait, I'm gonna justify content center because all the columns are going to be in the middle and uh, let's create the, the columns. So crypto list, I wanna access all the divs inside of crypto list. So let me make them all um, 200 by 200. So hide 200 pixels. Let me change the background color. and make it crimson for now. Okay, you can see that they, they are appearing here. The reason why there's like, a th they seem to be glued together is because I didn't add any margin. If I give some margin to them, like 10 pixels, you can see that there are different buttons. So I wanna make them columns. They're not in the center because I wanna, I wanna put a line item center. Um, It's not working for some reason. I didn't give it a, a width, right? So 100%. And a height of auto. Let me 
change the background color here to whatever. I just want to see the size of this. Yeah, it's working. Then why isn't it working? Maybe I'll change this to flex. Yeah, that's that's going to fix it. And as you can see, the reason why this is happening is because I didn't add a flex direction. Flex direction, column. Okay, yeah, you can see now we have like, we're going to display all the coins right here. And yes, it's ugly, I know it, but, and it's not gonna be this colors. I just want to show you how to display data, how to use routes, you know, all the functionality. I don't care that much about the, the visuals. But basically this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna display like 20 or something coins and you can click on them to see more. You can see that on the bigger, like if I make this bigger, I can, I'm gonna change the, the font size of the header so I can make it better. So 40 pixels, something like this. No, it's too large. So let me make this 30. Okay, and uh, the, the, the things, I'm gonna make them a little bit larger. So 300. Um, okay, and this, it's not gonna be like this. I'm going to add a border. No, actually, no, I'm gonna add a border radius of, ten, of like 20 pixels. And uh, I'm gonna add a box shadow. So box shadow um, to pick well, one pixel, one pixel, five pixels black. I don't know if that's gonna look good. Yeah, that's okay. Basically, whenever we hover over this, I want the cursor to be changed to pointer. So hover um, pointer. Oh, cursor, pointer. And I also wanna make this a bit larger. So let me just change the box shadow and let's make this like eight. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, you can see it's not that bad. It's not perfect either. It's okay, you know? And inside of here, there's going to be the name of the data and everything. But we're not, we're obviously not gonna just write them individually. I'm gonna even remove everything here. And we're gonna start working with the the API fetching part. So basically, I already have Axios installed. If you want to know how to install Axios, I'm gonna like link the video that I, I teach you guys how to do it on the top here. But let me just import it. So import Axios from Axios, and let me create a a use state or oh, a use effect. Basically, it's going to fetch all the cryptocurrencies right when the page renders. So let me just call it once because I don't want to continue calling it infinitely. And you can see that I already imported the use effect whenever I created it. And inside of here, I want to make the call. So basically, xuse.get and I want to put the URL over here. And the URL we're going to use is basically this. You see that this endpoint is basically, it's asking for all the, the, the tickers and it's asking from start from 100 and the limit is 100. I want to change that maybe because I want to see the most famous ones. So I'm going to make this start from zero and uh, end like 20. This is the amount I want, probably. Let me see if it works. It's loading. Um, I want to see like the big ones. Yeah, you can see this is Bitcoin. I don't know much about cryptocurrencies, but here Ethereum, these are the big ones. So I'm going to copy this link. And as you can see, it requires HTTPS, which is good. And I'm going to post it here. Okay, basically this is a promise. It it returns uh, uh, the data, so I can just write then. And inside of here, I can create a variable called response. Response and the arrow function. And I wanna get the response and I wanna turn it, set it equal to a state. The state is going to be a variable representing all the cryptocurrencies. So let me create this state. Const, um, crypto list, like this is the list of the coins and set crypto list equal to use state. And it's going to, again, automatically import on the top. If it doesn't for you, then you should do that. And you can see we're gonna make it an empty array. So over here, I'm going to set crypto list equal to, and again, array destructuring. So crypto list, and I'm gonna add the new value which is the response dot dot data. 
and let's see how the JSON works. So basically, it has a data property which displays everything. And inside of it is a list. So for every point of the list, we want to display this. So, huh, maybe I just need to set the, yeah, I just need to set it equal, right? Yeah, I don't need to do this. I just need to set it equal to the response because the JSON already returns a list. So if I make this set crypto list equal to response dot data dot, no, actually data, whenever you see that you want to get the JSON directly from here, from an API call, you got to add some brackets and like make it a string. Then this will return a list and I'm setting it equal to this list. Let's see if it works, right? So um, I want to console log dot log the response dot data and data. Okay, so let's return this and let's see if it worked. Inspect element console log and yeah, it returned 20 bitcoins like no, no, not 20 bitcoins, 20 cryptocurrency coins and a bunch of information about them. And this is totally updated. I think so. Like it, at least it, it's it's almost real time, real time. Since it's a free API, I guess it's like a day or like 20 minutes late, but that doesn't really matter. So you can see that it's working. The only thing we need to do now is display the list. So we have a list right here. Crypto list is our, our, our array, right? So if I come here and I just do crypto list, list dot map, it will basically call for each element of the, it will loop through each element of that list. And it, we can pass a function of what we want to do to each element. In our case, we want to, each element is called a coin and or a currency. And we just want to return a div, right? Remember we created divs. So return a div that will contain the coin name dot something. I, I just want the name. So basically you can see that the, the object for the coin has an ID, a symbol and a name. So I want to, I want to put the, the symbol, and maybe the price yeah the price in usd so i want to make it i'm going to add an h1 and this is going to be name no symbol actually not i'm just i'm just going to copy this okay here coin dot um symbol and I want to add another h1 which is going to be coin dot price usd and let's see how it looks okay you can see that it works right so it shows 20 currencies and it shows the 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 symbol or the ticker and the the currency or the price so i just want to align everything so let me get here and text align center let's see if it looks good it, it looks good in my opinion. I'm gonna increase the size of the the fonts here. So font size, um, like 28 pixels. I'm just guessing. No, that's too big. 24, and I'm also going to make it thinner. So font weight, um, 300. Let's see if it looks good. Okay, I think it looks good. You know what I mean, right? It, do, it doesn't need to be perfect, but okay. Now what we need to do is we need to set it equal. We need to set it to a point where if we click on the cryptocurrency, it's going to open a new page in a route. So like a new route, and it's going to be a page specifically for that coin. And we're going to use uh, React Router. However, since I'm feeling like this video is going to be, I don't want to make this video that 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 huge. I'm going to make this into a, like a two or a three part series. It's going to be quick videos, so don't worry. So yeah. This is it for today's guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, if you guys liked it, please leave a comment down below and keep around to see the next video of the series. This is probably the finale of my tutorial series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you guys next time.